not subject to simply oh the luckier and from the astral realm we have the rare the valuable the astral pack one and then we'll ask you guys to check out the channel and subscribe for some more epic Yu-Gi-Oh videos and thanks to our friends at Ultra Pro, we have the beautiful no game no life play mats and we'll use uh we'll bring back the orange today to contrast the blue there that would be sweet all right you guys i am super excited for this this is astral pack one one of the rarest packs in the game each individual pack is like five to ten dollars um there's a super rare inside every pack at least a super there's ultimates in here too um, that are valued at like five to twenty dollars for each individual super rare it's 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 insanity but yeah the ultimate rares in here are sukiyomi uh debris dragon and uh what is the last guy the photon thrasher something like that and all those cards are like easily twenty dollars so it's just such a such a valuable set it's gonna be awesome you guys so let's get started first pack we got 24 packs a box worth of packs to go through here all right so we're starting off with the gates of the dark world so the super is right in the front there you gotta remember that that is very awesome Furin Kazan and the Ice Edge. So, not too many commons in this set. The Gates to the Dark World to start it off. And nice, a Insector Centipede. It's been a while since I've seen some of these. 1600 attack, 3 star Insecto Feed. Very cool. Actually, it was pretty valuable when uh, Insectors. We're, we're doing well in the format. Okay, next pack here. Come on, believe in the heart of the cards. Oh, there we go. Kagamusha of the Six Samurai. Very nice. Ooh, Swift Scarecrow common is in here. Sleeve up our first Kagamusha of the Six. He's a two star, 400 attack, 1800 defense. During either player's turn, when exactly one face up six samurai monster you control is targeted by a spell, trap, or monster effect, or card effect that could target this card, you can activate this effect. It now targets this face up card instead. Kagamusha. But he is the two star tuner that you can asceticism with. The Elder. Very cool. Okay, next pack. Let's keep it up. And nice. A. Hidden Armory. So if there's a super that we want more of, it's definitely going to end up being um, s Terraforming. <laughs> I'm like trying to remember so many different cards in here. Uh, but yeah, the Terraforming, super rare because that is one of the more valuable and highest rarities of that card. Wow, these packs have a good good ratio to it so we have hidden armory here to send the top card of your deck to the grave and add one equip spell from your deck or graveyard to your hand kind of normal summoner set the turn you activate this card actually a really good card and then we have hieratic dragon at tefnuit cyber shark and astral barrier funny card to put in this pack i think hidden armory has some pretty good value to it also Okay, next pack, you guys. Here we go. Come on, Terraforming. Mass Change. Also not a bad card. It works with your Mass deck and one of the higher rarities of it. Shrine of the Mist Valley and Furin Kazan. Okay, let's sleeve it up. Mass Change is targeting one face-up hero monster control. Send it to the graveyard and special summon one Mass Hero from your extra deck with the same attribute as the hero that was on the field. So we almost have, I think there's eight, eight uh, supers in here, so. Centipede, nice, and Zector. Astral Barrier and Cyber Shark. Come on, out of 24 packs, forget, I think it was like three ultimates per 100, so at 24, hopefully we get one ultimate, that would be cool. Another Gates of the Dark World. All fiend type monsters gain 300 attack and defense. And once per turn, you banish one fiend from your graveyard to discard one fiend monster, then draw one card. Wow, I didn't realize that has nothing to do with just the Dark World name. You could just use it for a fiend deck. Huh. Card's a little better than I thought it was. Once per turn, banish one fiend type monster from the grave. Damn it. Discard one fiend type monster. Draw one card. 
Seems pretty good. And Genex Undyne. This card actually was played for a while. Thunder of Ruler and Dragon Ice. This guy's cool. I believe Secret Rare was his original printing. When your opponent special summons a monster, you can discard one card. Special summon this card from your hand. It was actually pretty good back in the day. But then they started making cards that just get special summon like a uh, purply thorny dragon. Nice. Another Kagemusha of the six. Very cool. 400 attack, 1800 defense. A Swiss Scarecrow, Astral Barrier. Okay, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10 packs so far. We're about halfway through, you guys. Believe in the heart of the cards for the Astral Realm will guide us. There we go, nice. That's a good one. More Ray of Greed. Shuffle two water monsters from your hand in your deck and draw three cards. Very cool. Cyber Shark. Ray of Greed. Kage Musha, I'll set that there. Okay. Wow, a third gate to the Dark World. We got a cool guy here. Spiritual Forest and the Fubrin Kazan. Okay. Yugi Boy, here we go. Flamvel Fire Dog. Cyber Shock. Uh, that is the Flamvel card that says when this card destroys opponent's monster by battle. It is a 1900 attack, too, by the way. Looks pretty cool. Uh, destroys the opponent's monster by battle, sends the grave, special summon a fire monster with 200 or less defense from your deck to your hand. Or from your deck. Except the Flamebell Fire Dog. Man, if you could special summon himself, that'd be a fun card. Awesome, another more Ray of Gareed. Closed Forest, actually not that easy of a card to find. An Astral Barrier. All beast type monsters you control gain 100 attack for each monster in your in your grave. That's pretty good. Field spell cards cannot be activated while, they're, while this card is face up on the field. Field spells cannot be activated the turn uh, this card is destroyed. Well, it stops other field spells too. Run it in a beast deck. Another Tef knew it. Come on, where's the ultimate rares at? Hyena and Cyber Shark. Gotta believe. Come on, Astral. Another mass change. Nice. Where terraforming's in this set? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh man. Astral Barrier, Spiritual Forest. Each turn, the first face of Beast, Beast Warrior, or Plant Time Monster you control that would be destroyed by battle is not. It's a cool card. Okay, we got about eight packs left. Let's do this. I'm feeling a terraforming right here. Right now. Oh, another Kagamusha. I mean, I'll take it. Jeez. Play set of super rare Kagamushas, the six. Dragon Ice and Thunder Ruler. Thunder Ruler. Wow. And that is a third mass change. So we got three mass changes, three Kagamushas, and three Gates of the Dark World. And no Terraformers. It's a sign that we're going to get two in the last five packs here. Or get a fourth Gates of the Dark World. I think they really want us to go to the Dark World. Four of those. Astral Barrier and Swift Scarecrow. I think we'll take the tour bus. Feeling, I'm feeling an ultimate or... or uh, yeah, this is, this is some good stuff here. I feel it. Terraforming. Okay. That didn't work. <laughs> Cyber Shark. <laughs> Three, four bags left. Okay. Okay. Come on, you guys! You gotta believe in the cards. This is, this is, this is. That's what needs to happen. Okay, a third more ray of greed. Not bad. Got a play set of those now. Hero Ice Thunder Ruler. Come on, Kaiba! Here we go. Flamvel Fire Dog. Astral Barrier and the Shrine Valley of the Mist. Let's see here. 
threes, twos, twos. So Genix, Undyne, and Hidden Armory are the only ones we haven't gotten two of. And then we haven't even got a single Terraforming. Gates into the dark world. Jeez. Okay. I think we really need to get a tour guide, get a tour bus, and just make our way there. Cyber Shock. Holy crap. Five of those. All right, you guys. Last pack of destiny from this epic astral pack opening. Last pack of destiny. Come on. I'm feeling the hype. Last pack, right here, right now. Terraforming or ultimate rare card. Oh, baby, there we go. Sukiyomi, ultimate rare. That's what I'm talking about. And she has gone up in value over time, too. Not the easiest card to find. Ultimate rare Sukiyomi. That is beautiful. Wow. Last pack of Destiny. Thank you, Kaiba. Dear, that is so cool. Oh, baby. All right, Tsukiyomi, 1,100 four-star monster, 1,400 defense, spellcaster spirit. Cannot be special summoned during the end phase of the turn. This card is normal or flip face up. Return it to the hand. When this card is normal summoned or flip face up, target one face up monster on the field. Change that card to face down defense. Powerful card. Freaking awesome. A ultimate rare Tsukiyomi in our last pack here. That made up for it. Who needs terraforming when you have ultimate rares? Very cool. Okay, so for a little recap here, let's check out the monsters first. So we had a playset of Kagemushas, a playset of Insector or Centipedes. Then we had. Two Flame Bell Fire Dogs, two Hieratic Dragons, Tef Nuit, a Genix Undyne. And then for our magics here, we uh, found five different gates that lead to the Dark World. <laughs> that was funny. Two more of Greeds, a, or actually we had a playset of more of Greeds, a playset of max, mass changes. And only one Hidden Armory. And zero Terraforms. And of course we got our almighty... Sukiyomi Ultimate Rare. Does she have a mask there? Or is that just a, a tool or talisman of some kind? She had a mask. I'm curious to what it would look like. Alright, you guys. Pretty awesome opening. We did end up getting the Ultimate Rare. And like I said, out of 100 packs, I think you're 3 out of 100. So getting 1 out of 24 is pretty freaking sweet. Awesome box opening of the Astral Pack 1. And as always, you guys, please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. And thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm really excited to bring out some more epic videos coming soon. Uh, expect a epic booster box battle with the uh, Duelist Saga. It's going to be freaking awesome. Thank you guys for watching. And subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And see you on Lucky signing out.